Petrikucha 13, Wix, Pages, Functions, and Neo DLC. I've got to say, I'm glad I do this, Petrikucha, because I managed to get in some pictures of Vegeta this week that I wouldn't have done otherwise. So, uh, a little bit of winning, just a little bit. The doctors won't detect it in the blood system. So, Pages on my MacBook has two functions I want to talk about. The first one is dictation. You talk into the speaker and it tries to type what you say. Yeah, it's it's bad, but it's not as bad as you'd think. I'd say it gets it right about 70% of the time. So I've done a lot of, I have to do a lot of blogging and I've kind of been speaking into the speak, the, the, the microphone. No, the speak. Uh, yeah, sometimes it gets it wrong and sometimes it's infuriating. Uh, all the time you save not typing, you lose having to go back, but I still think there's something to it. I think I'm probably saving time. The other thing you can do is have, and I think this might be a Mac thing, you could probably find this on the PC, I don't know, uh, is you can have it speak what you have written. Uh, it's amazing what it can pronounce or what it can't. Um, names it seems to get because there's like a you know it, it reads syllables not words uh, but like my dissertation is a great example of, of things that don't seem to always carry film noir is what my dissertation was about so I said that a lot film yes noir no it couldn't understand it when I said it but when it read it back to me because it just read the no and like the IR it got it interesting times so Neo got DLC um, Mazumune Date, a famous Japanese popular culture figure. He, it, well, you know, this is the promotional poster. He's obviously the main character. He's the bad guy. You got to go stop him. You know, effectively restarting the war. You just spent the game ending. Uh, he's not built up very well, and like as you're going through the DLC, like it doesn't do a very good job of storytelling. He's not built up, and like right before you meet him suddenly you start getting expositional dialogue about Spain and it's like, wait, why are they talking about Spain all of a sudden? And then once you beat Mazamune Date, the last boss of the DLC is some Spanish chick because Spain. And it's like, this was like a plot twist that they kind of forgot that they had planned, but they, they had it planned, so they kind of had to just had to shoehorn it in at the end. Uh, this is not the best way to tell stories. Uh, there was a lot of kind of filler side quests. They could have worked stuff into that. Uh, so Wix, uh, website generator, I have to create an online portfolio. You know, their template for illustration is, is just what I was looking for. It's simple, it's direct, you see the stuff, you see the name, you know, about contact. You know, the, you know, the simpler and more direct it is, the better. So here I am putting my stuff on. And I have a kind of mixed bag of stuff. So I found I kind of needed to try and split stuff up between stuff that's line based and stuff that's color based. I don't have an, enough of either. I'm still trying to figure out the ins and outs of the website. Um, yeah, so this is the color page. So like having that say that dog helmet guy next to the 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 fine line drawing it drawings of the the other page. It just it just seemed like a bit too heavy handed. I think splitting them works, but then I've got stuff like the clowns where I'm not quite sure because it's kind of color and line work. I'm not sure where, where to put it. So the background in this one is gray. The one in the one I just showed before was white. This time you can now see like the edges of the images and it gives you a sense of the composition. It's, it's in, infuriating how these little subtle changes, these graphic design elements are really important and I have to actually think about them because I really don't want to, but I need to for a professional outcome. So my blog, I've uh, been doing a lot of blogging this week. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do because, you know, the blog is a part of the university course, but, you know, I like writing and I like blogging, but what does the blog become when I graduate? It's it's difficult. Uh, it's a little bit chicken rig, ribs, like Cao Cao says. It's like not worth throwing away because it has a use, but then its use isn't so valuable that you really want to keep it. I've used a lot of the mem. Well, I don't know how much of the memory I've used. There's there's stuff there. There's dead pages, so I'd have to clean it up one way or the other. So is it better just going for a clean slate, you know? And then of course, what do I talk about? Um, I can talk about stuff I have a personal interest in, I can keep it very specific, um, like it is now, it's kind of about, well, you know, art and stuff. 
I could even use it as a as a place to drop like chapters of some kind of prose thing, a book. You know, I feel like Dickens and people like that did stuff like that. Not on a blog, of course. Uh, is it informative? Is it about technical knowledge? Is it entertainment? Is it just you know, da di da di da? Let's let's just make jokes and and have a good time. Um, that kind of plays into what it is I choose to talk about, and then how many things can I choose to talk about? Here's a, a little five second Vine thing that kind of just sums up Fallout 4. Dude, it must be a convention. Dude dressed as Hancock. Uh, here comes a guy from behind, Preston, talking about settlements. It just, if you played Fallout 4, you get it and you're just like, damn, he, he's nailed it. Is sometimes you just see stuff that gets it so right. Another thing that I, um, I've been watching a lot of recently is like the what culture lists of stuff. It's usually that Adam from what culture lists that I watch. Uh, you know, he's talking about Michael Keaton, Batman, why it's secretly awesome. He dropped some some good knowledge that I, I didn't realize because I was too young the first time I saw the film. Uh, you know, something I'll touch on now, it's gonna come up a lot, is what I will be when I graduate because technically I'm self-employed. I don't know what that means, but there are legal requirements. You know, I have to sort out my own tax assessments, but only if I earn so much money, blah, blah, blah. But that blah, blah, blah is me not knowing what the rest of the, the stuff is, or even if the stuff I've just said is actually true. So, yeah, watch out for that. So things for the future, got to sort out that online portfolio because, you know, Wix has a shop. I could really, it could be like my main base of operations if that's what I want it to be, you know, get them T-shirts up. Uh, you know, figure out what the blog is going to be about and how it's going to keep going. If it's going to be in the same place, you know, that legal status thing because, you know, Ah, don't want to be the next Wesley Snipes, lol, I know that's a leap, right? And then, you know, as my self-employed self, I have to get my money somehow, so I have to figure out what I make and what I sell, where, how, and, you know, when. So that brings us to the end of Pecha Kucha 32, and I will see you next time.